friends, thanks for clicking on this video. Today will be the first video of our new home series. So I wanted to start this video off with a pantry organization, but my pantry organization stuff didn't all come in yet. So I'm gonna do our prepper pantry organization. So let me show you what that is. Okay, so if you're not familiar with what a prepper pantry is, it's kind of just like anything you're gonna need just in case something goes down. Just like, you know, what happened in 2020, you wanna make sure that just in case it happens again, you're good. Kwame and I went to a store and bought a whole bunch of stuff and now I have to put it away even though I am, you can't tell, but I'm six months pregnant and I'm a little tired. I'm gonna take y'all with me so we can just get this done and get our house all organized. And it is in here. Also, it's actually in our laundry room, but we have a shelf that we built and we have a bunch of stuff I have to put up there. So I'm gonna take you guys along. So we have it all in this um, wagon that we use for our vending machine. If you're not familiar with our vending machine series, I will have that linked up above, but go ahead and check that out. But anyway, this is all our stuff. This is all the stuff. Ugh. All right, so, so far on here, we have our like emergency bag that has just, it's like a, a first aid kit. Oh, and this is just in case like hurricanes or the heat cuts off or the stove cuts off or anything like that. We have this so we can cook inside the house. It's, kind of, it's like a camping thing. So we have this as well. And then we have water straws that will give you clean water. I'll have all the linked in the description below if y'all want these for yourselves. So the other things we have on here right now are spaghetti sauce. Just spaghetti sauce. We have six of them. We have lemon juice, um, avocado oil, and then I went to Walmart pickup and they gave me some of somebody else's order. Even when I tried to give it back, they were like, no. So um, yeah, now we have these from Walmart, which are just vegetable and chicken broth. So it's always nice to have those. And pickles. Kwame and I have never eaten pickles a day in our lives, so I have no idea why he picked these up, but we got pickles. So now onto the big cart so we also have some liquid iv for hydration and a lot some lots of batteries both double a and triple a also have some flashlights and some more batteries and then lighters so all of that will go onto our top shelf here i just have to organize it a little bit Okay, so some other things I forgot to mention for the up top part. I also keep the de-choker. If you have no idea what this is, it's like like a plunger for kids just in case they get something stuck in there and they can't breathe. This is a cool handy device. I have this. I also have these. I have We have two of these. They are um, radios that are solar powered and they're also, they also double as a flashlight right there. So we have these, they're crank radios, that's what they're called, crank radios. We have two of these. And then we have these potassium iodine tablets. Those, those are just some extra things that I do keep up here on our top shelf. Um, I think it's just easier to have like the super first aid stuff up top and then all the food at the bottom because, you know, in case of emergency, you got to get to that stuff quicker. You can see it faster, so I keep it up top. <laughs> But that's all. So continuing on to the second shelf, I'm going to go with a bunch of cans. In the so we have chicken in a can. That in the back. <laughs> also have some green beans. But I've, I've already opened these because I like them. And we also got a big thing of chickpeas, garbanzo beans, whatever. Since they're not open, I'm not going to open them. I'm just going to put them on the shelf. Um, and all of these, we did look at all of the expiration dates for them. So we should be good for some time. We also have baked beans. I tried to explain Kwame's thought process with this whole thing. So these are some things, most things that we don't normally eat. But 
they could be a meal on its own if we needed it to be. So beans have like meat inside of them, I think. Seasons with bacon and brown. Yeah, so yeah, you get it. Also have another thing of beans. We have more chicken for protein and such. I'll put that in the back. We have sweet peas. And then we just have two more of these black beans. We have black beans and then another chickpea. So I'll put these down here. Another chickpea. So now we also have like our starches and our grains. Um, we have this instant oatmeal. If you've been around for a while, you know that Kwame is not an instant oatmeal type of guy. He likes to have like the regular oats, but we got these again, just in case. All you have to do is add water, hot water, and it'll be good. So we have these. Also have a ton of quinoa. This is definitely not gonna last long in this pantry because we eat quinoa almost every day so i won't put it here but it's probably going to switch over to the other pantry <laughs> then we have two long brown rices i didn't show you but we also have a really big bag of rice it's heavy it's like 25 pounds or 30 pounds something like that something that i'm not supposed to be picking up so i'm gonna leave it on the floor but we also have a big bag of rice too so it's a lot of rice you know This is organic salad topping. It has a sweet and savory blend of sweet and cranberry sesame sticks, sunflower seeds, walnuts, and pepitas. Girl, I don't know why he got this, but for salads. <laughs> also got some seasoning. So this is adobo. We also have sazon, but I've been using that. So I'm gonna put this here, but I'll probably also switch this to the front as well. And these are just some crackers. We have two of the graham crackers. We also don't normally eat these, but they will be a good snack to have in case of emergency. So we have two big boxes of these snacks. And for another snacky type of option, we have the chewy fruit and nut granola bars. Um, I hope these don't have pink. Well, Milana won't be able to eat these because she has like a sensitivity to peanuts and peanut butter and things. So she won't be able to eat these, but we can still eat them. So we have this as another snacky option. Last but not least, we have pasta. This is the tri-color pasta. This also probably won't last that long, but I'll keep it in here. We do have, we already have a bunch of pasta that we use normally which is like chickpea pasta but I decided to get this one because correct me if I'm wrong but I think that the colors mean it has like vegetables in it <laughs> that's just what's going to stay in my mind about this pasta so I got this one for extra vegetables so I'll put that hmm. here I'll put it here on the second shelf I'm gonna do just one more overlook on the pantry. This is what we have so far. Let us know of anything that we should add as new homeowners and just being in a house for the first time. We don't really know what we should be keeping, so we're just putting a bunch of things together just to have in the house. So if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments. We love to see them. So I'll just give you a quick overview, but thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in our next video.